So if you've got a smartphone and you're looking to level up your films and videos, what are some of the best accessories to help you do that? Well, in front of me here, I have an array of different filmmaking gear, all costing less than $100. In fact, some of this cost a lot less. We've got lenses, microphones, cases, filters, plus some slightly more unusual gear. So in this video, I'm going to run you through this gear, explain what it does, and how you can use it to help level up your films and videos. Everything in this video will be linked in the description below. Okay, let's jump straight in with a really important one, and that is your phone case. Now, basically, there are two types of cases for your smartphone. You've got your standard everyday phone case, which everyone has, and then you have your smartphone filmmaking cases like these ones here. The difference being you can attach accessories to a case like this, and you can't with a standard one like this. Now, as a filmmaker or content creator, you want to be efficient when you're out on shoots, and my pet peeve is having to take a standard case off to put a filmmaking case on in in order to be able to attach accessories. That's just a faff. So in an ideal world, I'll have a case which basically looks like your everyday normal phone case. It's not too big or bulky, but I'm able to attach accessories to it like additional lenses. And as you can see with this one, it has these drop-in mounts which allow me to connect add-on smartphone lenses like this. We will get to lenses in just a second, but staying with cases for now, we have this case here by Moment and this case here by Freewell. The one I use simply depends on which lenses I'm shooting with. These cases come in at around about $30 each compared to your everyday standard case which cost around about $10 but these offer a lot more protection and save you a lot more time and faff if you're looking to add additional lenses to your smartphone. Lenses. Okay let's talk about lenses because this is a great way to level up your smartphone videos and you can get some really unique looks this way which will instantly make your videos stand out compared to everyone else's. So the first lens we're looking at here is this anamorphic lens. Now an anamorphic lens is a special special type of lens that gives your videos a unique cinematic look. One of the most noticeable features is the blue streaks it creates when you film lights. You'll see anamorphic lenses being used in a lot of Michael Bay films as well as many other feature films. An anamorphic lens also captures a much wider field of view compared to a regular lens. This means you can fit more of the scene into your shot, giving your videos a grander, more expansive look. A lens like this really helps make your videos look much more like something that you would see in a Hollywood feature film compared to regular footage using a regular lens. And it's that wider aspect ratio that does this because this is a key feature in many Hollywood films. Okay, I've got two more lenses here and they're both incredibly well made and they've got quite a bit of weight to them, which is exactly what you want. There are many add-on lenses that you can get out there for your smartphone, but a lot of these are just terrible and if anything, will make your videos look worse. The only thing you want to be putting on the front of your lens is a better lens and that is where these two lenses come in. We've got this one here, the 18 millimeter wide angle lens and this one here, the 58 millimeter lens. Now, if you've got an iPhone like this one here, which already has, three lenses, one of them being a wide angle lens, you might ask yourself, well, why would I need to buy a wide angle lens? And the reason for this is that out of all three of these lenses, the standard lens is the best quality lens. The other two, the wide angle and the telephoto lens, don't have the same resolution. So if you want a wide angle shot with the best image quality possible, this is where you use add-on lenses. The add-on lens attaches to your standard lens to give either a wider or narrower field of view. This is the 18 millimeter wide angle lens and this is the 58 millimeter lens, both harnessing all of the image quality from your main lens, but just changing the field of view or focal length. Both of these lenses come in at around about $100 and are two of the best options when it comes to add-on lenses. Okay, moving on to one of my all-time favorite smartphone filmmaking accessories, and that is a three-axis gimbal. Now, if you struggle to get nice, smooth shots, or if you're looking for some additional features to help make your shoots run a little bit smoother, then a gimbal is going to be a really great investment. Even in this day and age with smartphones having incredible image stabilization, a smartphone gimbal still has its place because a gimbal will not only help you get smoother shots easier, but it will also come with a ton of different features to help improve the look of your films and videos. For example, this one here has a built-in extension pole to help you get shots lower to the ground easier. It also has a built-in tripod, it has AI tracking, a light, a detachable remote, gesture control, it's small, it's foldable, it's compact, 
so great value for money. This gimbal here is the Hoem iSteady V3 and comes in just a smidge over $100. You can get them cheaper. I know this is a little bit over the original $100 budget, but I don't want to recommend something that's cheaper if I don't believe it's very good. There are a ton of other gimbals out there that I would recommend, but all of these start at at least $150. And this, in my opinion, is the best value for money for those of you that are on a budget. The downside to this gimbal is its limited tilt axis. Ideally, it would have a little bit more range. And the second is its max payload of 300 grams. It can easily take the payload and the weight of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is great, but it will start to struggle as soon as you start to add additional lenses and microphones. But still a great gimbal with lots of useful features. I will link it below along with a few other recommendations. Okay, let's talk about wireless microphones because audio is as important as the visuals. Bad audio will instantly make your films and videos feel cheap and amateur. So if you're recording any audio, especially if you're interviewing someone or talking to camera, then a microphone like this is going to be crucial because you want to get your microphone nice and close to your subject. And what I love about this one is its simplicity. Everything sits in this little case. You have a transmitter, which is the microphone that just clips onto a collar like this. And you have the receiver, which plugs into your phone like this. This will then send the audio from your microphone directly to your smartphone. And this one actually comes with two microphones. So you could interview two people at once and still capture professional sounding audio. I've got a couple of these wireless mics, but they pretty much all do the same thing. This one here is from Ulanzi, and this one here is my favorite. This is the Hollyland Lark. Comes in at around about $100. You can get others cheaper than this, but if you're recording audio of someone, especially if they're further away, pretty much any microphone will be better than the internal one on your phone. But the Lark is really well made and reliable. The only downside to this is that Hollyland have stamped their logos onto these microphones, and I hate it when brands do that, especially when it's on a product that's designed to be discreet. Not a deal breaker, but definitely worth bearing in mind. Okay, let's talk about the more unusual, the less obvious accessories. The gear that's cheap, but incredibly useful. This is my must-have budget filmmaking gear. Now, the first is this smartphone holder or clamp like this one here. You can pick these up really cheap, around about $10, and they are an absolute essential for me because a clamp like this now allows you to easily attach any accessory you like using this quarter inch thread. I can now attach a tripod, an extension pole, a selfie stick. I could attach it to a suction mount or just about any other accessory I like purely because I now have this clamp. Now, speaking of mounts, here are a few more of my favorites, especially when I'm looking to capture more unusual angles and perspectives. Most people shoot with their phone up here at eye level because this is the most natural and obvious way. So if you can get your smartphone into unusual positions, capturing more interesting perspectives, it's really gonna make your films and videos stand out. And that is where these accessories come in incredibly useful. We've got this neck mount, which will enable you to capture that classic POV perspective. This is a great accessory for anyone looking to capture behind the scenes or anything where you want to put your audience deep in the action. We've got clamps like this. These come in really useful because they will allow you to pretty much clamp your phone to anything. Just be careful which ones you buy because there are some really cheap, terrible ones out there. Basically, if they're made of plastic, do not get them. Avoid them altogether. You want one similar to this that's made of all metal. This one here is by Ulanzi and it's by far the best one I've ever used based purely on the fact that it hasn't broken yet. I've bought many of these in the past and they've barely lasted a couple of shoots whereas this one I've had for at least a couple of years and it's still going strong. The Bendy Tripod, also by Ulanzi this one, and another essential for me if ever I'm shooting using a smartphone because you can attach it to pretty much anything you like. It just makes shoots a lot easier. If any of you have an iPhone with MagSafe, then be sure to take advantage of this when it comes to phone accessories. For example, let's say you didn't want a bigger, bulkier clamp on your phone like this one. Well, you could get a MagSafe holder like this. Just snaps onto the back of your phone and we can now attach other accessories using this horseshoe mount. Plus, how satisfying is that? Also, quick release plates like these ones here from iFootage are another great way of being more efficient when it comes to shoots. These just attach to the bottom of your smartphone holder like this, allowing you to quickly and efficiently jump from one accessory to another. Okay, but what if you want to add even more professional accessories to your smartphone? Well, this is where cages and grips come in. A cage is not only going to offer more protection, but it's also going to enable you to hold your phone easier and attach multiple accessories to it like a light or a microphone. This is for those of you that are really taking things 
bit more seriously and looking to turn your smartphone into a more professional camera. I usually use this one here by Small Rig because it's incredibly well made, but if I want to take a more minimalistic approach, I go with this one here. This is the Smartphone Grip by Freewell. Now this has to be one of the coolest and most innovative bits of gear that I use. This not only clamps onto your phone, giving you much more grip when you're shooting video, but the grip also folds down so that you can now hold it easier in other positions, like low to the ground, for example. The grip also has several mounting options for accessories. If that wasn't impressive enough, it also comes with this shutter button so that you can start and stop recording without having to touch your screen. Just a really incredibly well-designed and useful accessory. Okay, let's talk about filters because filters are a great way of enhancing your smartphone videos. ND filters like this one here control light and exposure. Mist filters add a softness and atmosphere to your shots. Polarizing filters reduce reflections and deepen colors. And gold streak filters like this one here create cinematic effects with light. So collectively, these will all help improve video quality, making your footage more professional and visually engaging with minimal effort. And this by far is one of my favorite filter systems. I think this is by a company called Pans. And what I love about this is that it's just so minimalistic. Look at this. We've got this magnetic case that just snaps on like this. This all comes in a tiny case, by the way, to keep everything together and safe. And we then have a variety of different filters that just snap on like this. I personally like to have a bit more to hold on to when I'm shooting using my phone, but you could always add an accessory to give you a bit more grip if needed. If you'd like me to do a dedicated video on smartphone filters, just let me know in the comments section below. But if you're looking for a filter system to get you started that has everything in it, this is a really good option. If any of you are new to smartphone filmmaking, by the way, and want to learn the basics fast, and I've got a course that covers everything and it's absolutely perfect for those of you that are just starting out. In this course, you'll learn everything from the best camera settings, how to shoot cinematic B-roll, as well as much more. And you can save $50 on that course by using the link in my description. So be sure to check it out. Okay, moving on. Magnetic charging cable. Okay, when I saw this, I just had to get it. This is a magnetic phone charger. It's USB-C, so we'll charge a phone as well as many other accessories. And what I love about this is that not only is this cable incredibly well made, unlike those standard cables that are cheap and fray over time, this is much more durable and reliable. And the best part is it's magnetic and I've never seen this before. So when I wind it up like this, because the cable is magnetic, it sticks to itself, making it much more neat and organized. So rather than have your cables all tangled and messy like this, you can have them like this. And if you've got OCD like myself and you just like things neat, tidy, clean, and minimal, then this is an absolute must have. They don't cost all that much more than the cheap crappy cables. They're made by a company called Magtame. They come in a variety of different sizes and colors. We also have different cables. They've got Thunderbolt, audio cables, just a really cool product, well-made and something that I use daily. Okay, now lighting is another crucial element of filmmaking and video production. So having something small, versatile and compact as part of your mobile filmmaking kit is essential. And one of my favorite lights is this one here, the Pavo Tube by Nanlite. This is an RGB light, so you can pretty much change it to any color you like. It's small, compact, easy to travel with. I use this all the time, whether this is just to add a little bit more light to a product shoot. At a pinch, you could use this as a key light. This thing gets pretty bright, but it does have diffusion on the front. So a really useful, versatile, small and compact light. It comes in around about $100. There are cheaper alternatives out there, but for the price, the build quality and the features, this is really good value for money. Okay. Another must have essential for any smartphone filmmaker or content creator is an external battery pack or power bank like this one here. They come in many different shapes and sizes, but they basically all do the same thing. They charge your phone. If you're out for the day shooting video, then you're going to use your battery up much quicker. So having a way to charge your phone, especially when you're not near a power supply will make or break your shoot. You can get ones like this that plug directly into your phone via a cable. You can get MagSafe ones that snap onto the back of your phone. You can get ones that connect via USB. I tend to have a couple fully charged in my camera bag at all times wherever I go just in case. Really useful when traveling, an absolute lifesaver when you're running low on battery. So I hope you found this video useful. Everything I mentioned will be linked in the description below. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.